Stories of adoptees finding and meeting their birth family are all over, especially with the rise in DNA testing, making it easier for adoptees to identify who their birth family is, even despite closed adoption records. And people love these stories. I know I do. They can be so heartwarming. What you don't often hear in the media, however, is about the many birth parents who are being found when they didn't want to be. It doesn't make for a very happy news story. Today I want to speak to those birth parents in that situation and answer the question, what if I don't want to be reunited with a child I placed for adoption? I'll start by letting you know it is okay if you don't want a reunion. Not everyone has that need, and not everyone has the ability due to their circumstances. Everyone should have a choice of whether to be involved in an adoption reunion or not. If you're forced into it, it's not going to be very healthy for anyone. But I am going to be blunt and add that it is definitely painful for adoptees who hope for a reunion and take a risk to reach out only to be rejected. Adoptees are often the disenfranchised party in an adoption, who had no choice in the matter. They didn't choose to be relinquished, they didn't choose who adopted them, and depending on the state they live in, they're denied the right to know anything substantial about their biological background. So a rejection by a birth parent can feel like just one more way that they're withheld any sovereignty about their own lives. If you as a birth parent can bring yourself to at least have a conversation with the child you placed for adoption, it would be so good for them. Before you say no to them, please deeply consider your reasons and if you might be able to get past those. But if after everything you still don't want to have any contact, I want to share four ways that you can make declining a reunion less painful. First is don't ignore calls and messages. Just be honest and let them know you're not interested. The ambiguity of not knowing if they found you or not, of not knowing if you're interested or not, can often be just as hard or sometimes harder than outright rejection. And a lot of times they're going to keep trying to reach you, so if you want peace, just be honest. Second, consider writing them a letter that explains their story. What was your situation at the time they were born? Why did you choose adoption? How did you feel about it then, and how do you feel about it now? You can answer the questions most adoptees have that are driving their desire for a reunion without having to meet them face to face, and it can bring them a lot of peace. Third, consider sharing a picture. Many adoptees feel their curiosity would be lessened if they could just see what you look like to answer their questions of who they look like and where they get their features from. It doesn't even have to be a current photo. A picture from high school works just as well. And fourth, be willing to at least share medical information. This is important. Adoptees can struggle to get the proper medical care because they don't have a complete medical history. This is the very least they can, you can do for them and possibly the most helpful thing. I'm going to add one more point to this. No decision that you make has to be final. If you change your mind later and decide you would like to meet after all, that door will still be open, but only if you handled the initial no to meeting with kindness and respect. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have an adoption question that you'd like us to address, and follow us for answers to more frequently asked questions like this. <laughs>